Hello, and thank you for coming to our talk. Today we'll be speaking about the coopetition model of collaboration in the NIH Generalist Repository Ecosystem Initiative, also referred to as GRAY. My name is Anna Van Gulick, and I'm the government and funder lead at the data repository Figshare and a co-chair of the GRAY Coopetition for the second year of the program. I'm joined today by my co-chair for the Coopetition Group, John Chidaki, the director of the UC Curation Center at the California Digital Library. Gray is sponsored by the NIH Office of Data Science Strategy, which launched the, launched the initi initiative in February of 2022. So we're about a year and a half into the program now. Gray aims to make it easier to find and reuse NIH funded data across the data repository ecosystem and recognizes that while discipline specific repositories play a critical role in the NIH data repository landscape, that established generalist repositories are also key for sharing flexible data sets that may not have another discipline specific repository as a home. We're grateful to the support of the NIH Office of Data Science Strategy in funding these seven awards as part of the program. The Gray program has a few different uh, initiatives. So its main mission is to establish a set of common capabilities, services, metrics, and social infrastructure that help to further encourage the adoption of fair principles for both sharing data and reusing data, and to largely influence the entire biomedical data ecosystem by helping generalist repositories collaborate and enhance their support for NIH data sharing. A few of the goals of Gray include making it easier for researchers to share data, enabling enhanced discoverability of NIH funded data across generalist repositories, supporting greater reproducibility of NIH funded research by making data publicly available, avoiding duplication of data across repositories, and lastly, encouraging not just data sharing, but also data reuse. Gray brings together seven different generalist repositories, the Harvard Dataverse Project, the Center for Open Science's Open Science Framework, Figshare, Dryad, Mendeley Data, Vivli, and Zenodo. These are seven different established generalist repositories that all aim to meet repository best practices and are already used by many NIH funded researchers. There are several objectives laid out for the Gray program, and my colleague John will present several of these in examples of our work thus far. But what I want to focus on first, and as a main part of this talk is our commitment to coopetition and what that means for this type of a program. So coopetition, of course, is the portmanteau of cooperation and competition. It was originally coined by Brandenburger and Nailbuff in their 1996 book. It's actually a business book about game theory and the coopetition amongst businesses. Um, this is also a term that was used at a 2020 workshop that the NIH ODSS hosted on the role of generalist and institutional repositories to enhance data discoverability and reuse, and is part of what kickstarted the Gray program further down the road. Um, so Saeed Choudhury gave a, a keynote at this talk, and this is his slide on coopetition. And one of the ideas that came up during this workshop is the idea that repositories and generalist repositories in this data ecosystem ought to cooperate on common features and standards. The idea is that there are, so, there are standard features um, that are below the value line that all of these repositories should uh, implement in the same way, including common and standard metadata, persistent identifiers, metrics, discovery across repositories, privacy regulations, and so forth. But that there were also unique features that were above this value line that it was fine for these repositories to continue to compete on. Unique features perhaps such as visualizations, uh, support for controlled access use cases, curation, and so forth. 
Uh, and this idea of coopetition is central to the Gray collaboration. So the Gray repositories, um, the, the seven repositories that I mentioned are all similar. They all support fair sharing across research disciplines, uh, by definition, a generalist repository being the opposite of a discipline specific repository. They strive to adhere with repository best practices, those laid out by NIH and the Office of Science and Technology Policy. Uh, and they leverage already existing community standards, such as data site metadata, which they all employ, and persistent identifiers, such as ORCID and ROAR, um, which they employ at varying levels of maturity. However, these repositories also differ somewhat. They include both nonprofit organizations and for profit companies. They include repositories that are built with open source infrastructure and uh, proprietary infrastructures. And they do offer varying features like data visualization, file types and sizes that are permitted, different license types, how data are curated, uh, and what types of data can be shared based on whether controlled access options are available for sensitive data. So the idea of this coopetition for Gray is central to the program, uh, and it means that there's a collaboration among the generalist repositories to jointly advance our repository functionalities to support NIH data sharing, as well as data discovery and reuse. And this idea of coopetition, of cooperating and competing, allows for the development of a cohesive and interoperable generalist repository landscape that is across uh, these seven generalist repositories currently and perhaps more broadly across the landscape in the future. It allows for regular communication across the teams working in these repositories, um, which is something that is a little bit uh, of a unique opportunity. We certainly all worked with each other before and interacted you know, at conferences and such, but this gives us a real way to work together on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and plan our future features and, and support together, uh, which allows us to help implement common best practices and standards that we all decide on together as being best for supporting our generalist repository use cases and the use cases for NIH. It allows the repositories to continue to leverage these existing community standards, to not reinvent the wheel, to work with groups like Datasite, which is actually uh, a partner in Gray as well with us because it's so central to the mission of, of having common standards across repositories. And with that, um, the ability to enhance our support for flexible data sharing for NIH funded researchers, to jointly offer training outreach support materials for their use cases so that researchers and those supporting them at institutions can understand how and when to use a generalist repository uh, and how to apply fair principles to using it. Once data is shared, it's important that it's discoverable. And these common standards for metadata certainly support um, greater discoverability, and we want data sets to be discoverable across these generalist repositories for no data set to be siloed in a specific one. So the coopetition um, supports having improved data discovery across repositories and also the ability to track the impact of that data, whether it's cited, how often it's downloaded, and so forth across the repositories in a standardized way that can be um, easily combined and compared. Lastly, it allows the gray repositories to have uh, collaborative unified partnerships with other community stakeholders. First and foremost, of course, with the NIH, also with other funders, community organizations and uh, academic institutions, as well as with the research community and professional organizations in specific disciplines. Outside of the coopetition, though, repositories um, are still able to offer varying features, such as those that might differentiate themselves, customized metadata, advanced functionality for specific use cases that might vary from one repository to the other, integrations with other tools, and so forth. And of course, there are a few challenges, like any collaboration, of working across these different business models, 
infrastructures and product roadmaps of multiple repositories with, of course, globally distributed teams and managing to share responsibilities and workload equitably. And now I'll hand it over to John. Thanks, Anna. Um, as Anna was mentioning, we um, are the co-chairs of the competition for year two. Um, and the objectives that were in the previous slide outline the objectives for the entire competition. And I'll just walk through some of those and discuss how um, not only the repositories are addressing the objectives, but also how the model, the competition model, is helping to achieve um, those goals. So at a very high level, um, one of the most important initiatives and or, uh, most important objectives of the initiative that we're trying to achieve is implementing best practices for data repositories. Um, we are relying heavily within the gray uh, initiative to um, on the desirable characteristics of data repositories, a set of best practices and criteria that's being used um, in the US and around the world to evaluate how data repositories do their work and where they can be compared and how they can, they can be evaluated from the general public and researchers. Uh, in, in, within this rubric, there are discussions of data repositories use of persistent identifiers, as well as um, their long term sustainability from a business perspective, um, as well, and also the long term preservation of the data that they are holding. There's also um, an evaluation of the metadata that's used, the way that they manage the quality assurance process, making sure that all the data that are held are free and easy to access, and that the guidance that is used for researchers is clear, and that the reuse possibilities for downstream researchers is broad as well as measured. We also wanna make sure that repositories have a clear understanding of what it means to be successful from the perspective of security and research integrity, um, there is also with any um, publication, there just uh, as there is with data as and other types, we want to make sure that we have clear understandings of confidentiality, uh, and that is definitely tied to the research integrity, but also to privacy. Um, and also other characteristics of repositories that we want to make sure we're creating best practices that are well understood and normalized across all the great repositories and beyond um, is common formats for understanding how we, uh, the data can be reused and understood, as well as provenance and our retention policies. These types of guidances that we are, we are relying on are something that we have used that are um, in a comparison chart, if we go to the next slide, that has come out of the GRAY initiative. Um, if you follow the DOI here, we, you can see that along these criteria, we are starting to evaluate the gray repositories against each other. So you can see this competition at work where we're not just showcasing where we have commonalities, but also in some cases where we have unique values. Um, and we're really trying to push for repositories to elevate themselves to best practice and make sure that the community sees what we consider best practice and also for the for communities to start to evaluate data repositories along the lines that Anna was bringing up in this competition framework of unique value in the value line, what is above and below. And we really see this comparison chart and the work of the desirable characteristics work as a place for us to continue to evaluate over time. And while Gray is a, um, is a, is a full project that's uh, very robust. It also is a time bound project. And so what we want to do is make sure that we see some change from from the beginning to the end. So we are routinely reevaluating and creating new versions throughout the three year period of our work to make sure that there is new um, versions of this chart that's available on Zenodo and also just an understanding of how things are changing at the repositories because of the gray work. Next slide. So within this, um, this, this rubric, you'll see one, one major objective that we have is making sure that the repositories are adopting consistent metadata models. Um, as Anna mentioned, we are all seven repositories very much involved in the data site community. We leverage data site DOIs for publishing out core metadata to the wider community. And within that, we wanna make sure that we are um, evaluating the ways that we are publishing that metadata out. So not just 
to check a box that says that DOIs are created for our data sets, but also a real understanding of the types of vocabularies that we're using within each metadata field, um, making sure that we are following best practices for connecting research outputs beyond our repositories to related items, and really making sure that we are focusing on similar use cases and having a common way that is well understood across the gray repositories, but also really to act as exemplars for um, other repositories. And so it's this co-opetition model that's allowing us with the with partnership with DataSite to really build out these exemplar processes. Um, you'll see a screenshot here of a recommendation that will be coming out this summer um, from the gray initiative about the, our interpretation of the data site schema and how we are um, commonly implementing it and hopefully creating a community uh, led exemplar that others would emulate. Uh, next slide. Then another objective within our competition is, is building those use cases, but also publishing them out. So we have a lot of work that we are doing co-op collaboratively across the gray initiative, across the seven repositories. Um, but we also wanna make sure that those resources are available to the wider community. So that repositories that are looking for guidance or are looking to see the work that are that's being done within gray can see the context and understand what um, use cases we are trying to solve. Um, and so there is a work thread and an objective that's across all the gray repositories to make sure that there is, um, published out use cases that are being iteratively created and published on our Zenodo collection um, that, that highlight what use cases we are working on. And this is not just to create um, structures for our own work, but also to help give some framework for the types of conversations we wanna have with external stakeholders. We really wanna be able to engage with funders and researchers and institutions and others across the, the community and have them understand the context that we're coming from and be able to build an iterative value within that conversation throughout the duration of the Gray project. Um, so if you go to the Zenodo collection, you can check out the latest versions of those use cases, but um, uh, we can go to the next slide and just move on and we can talk a little bit about um, open metrics. So one of the objectives of this competition is also to normalize and rationalize the way repositories and the generalist space are collecting information around data use and citation. Um, this is a challenge for all of us and really one of the values of the competition model allows us to work together to create a community led and repository led common practice to, to to create this common practice and best practices, we've relied heavily on Make Data Count, um, which is a community initiative that is focusing on normalizing and rationalized data usage metrics, as well as data citation metrics. And so being able to work together on the ways that each of the seven repositories implement and track data views, downloads, citations, allows us to create a common understanding through the Make Data Count initiative, and then be able to showcase that as then an exemplar for others to follow. It, uh, it's a become very it's invaluable for not only us, but the Make Data Count wider community to see the seven uh, repositories work together to implement, not just discuss, but actually implement tracking of views and downloads and tracking of citations. So we can start to see a, a critical mass of repositories using us the same approach. Um, and the next slide. Um, a final objective to highlight is just the way that we're doing outreach. So working through NIH ODSS, we're working on a um, series of webinars and conferences, uh, working like we are here today to do outreach about not only the competition and the model that we're highlighting today, but also the outputs. Um, thinking about how as we go through and implement approaches to open metrics or approaches to the metadata model, um, or really any of those desirable characteristics that we are, we, I, we, I went through earlier, that there are resources for repositories and communities to leverage and to, to, um, to interact with. And so one of our um, goals within the GRAY uh, initiative is to, to ensure that there are training materials and outreach materials that can be used. 
and making sure that they are uh, coming from a common voice across all seven repositories. And instead of thinking about each repository individually, really thinking about how to build a cooperation voice where we as a gray repository community can speak this similarly about the, their, our approaches to these characteristics. And so this is, uh, you know, this conference here today is part of that outreach and we will continue that outreach throughout the, the gray initiative. And um, with that, I'll, I'll hand it back over to Anna. Thank you. So of course, generalist repositories make up just one part of the research data repository landscape and the data sharing landscape. Um, and this includes also uh, importantly domain specific repositories and institutional repositories as well that researchers may be using um, either instead or jointly with generalist repositories. Um, and so we wanted to think about the implications of gray for this larger data landscape, especially in light of the new NIH data management and sharing policy that's gone into effect this past January. So there's benefits and opportunities to global repositories really coming together um, in this model of co-opetition to work together uh, to jointly meet the needs of research communities, funders, and institutions. Uh, and we hope that in the future, the outputs of Gray, some of these common capabilities that we are designing, common metadata schemas, standards, practices, um, are things that can be leveraged by other parts of the data landscape, including discipline-specific data repositories and other parts of the research infrastructure uh, to help us jointly reduce the barriers to data sharing and support greater interoperability across the data landscape. Um, so with that, um, I would encourage you to connect with Gray, um, stay in touch with our repositories. We have a public Google forum that you can join as well as a contact email address if you have any um, questions, interest in getting involved, uh, collaborating, have feedback to provide on any of our outputs, uh, and you can also sign up to learn about our future events. You can find all of our outputs in our Gray Zenodo community, including those from a workshop in January of uh, this year and a webinar, our webinar series that we've done, uh, as well as the use case catalog and the Gray metadata schema. So thank you very much. Thank you.